Unit 6 Future Jobs Part A Reading Page 62 Preparing for a job interview can be stressful, particularly when you are called for the first interview. Below are some pieces of advice that can help you reduce the feeling of pressure and create a good impression on your interviewer. Before the interview, you should find out as much as possible about the job and the vacancy. Before the interview, you have to send a letter of application and your resumes to the company to express your interest in the job and to show that you might be the most suitable candidate for the position. When you come to the interview, Remember to bring with you your school certificates and letters of recommendation from your teachers or your previous employers. In addition, you may jot down your qualifications and experience that can relate to the job and prepare for the questions that are often asked during the interview. Make sure you know where the interview is and how to get there. Be on time or a few minutes early. Don't forget to dress neatly and formally. During the interview. You should concentrate on what the interviewer is saying and make a real effort to answer all the questions the interviewer asks. Be clear, polite and honest. If you do not know something about the more technical aspects of the job, admit it and stress that you are willing to learn. Show enthusiasm when the job is explained to you. Always show your best side, your keenness to work and your sense of responsibility. Don't forget to say goodbye to the interviewer before leaving the office. After the interview, if you are offered the position, congratulations. If you do not get the job, try not to be too disappointed. Think about the interviewer's comments because they may help you prepare better when you are called for the next job interview. Good luck. Task 1 Listen to the passage and fill in the missing words in the boxes. Let's look at some recent changes in the U.S. job market and see if we can make some predictions about future jobs. A good way to begin is to look at the American workforce and how it is changing. The most important change has been the shift from manufacturing jobs to service jobs. Manufacturing jobs are jobs in which people make something or produce things. For example, people produce cars. Service jobs are those in which workers provide services, or we may say they may do something like washing people's cars. Generally, service jobs are grouped into five categories. 1. Transportation companies. 2. Wholesale companies. 3. Retail companies. 4. Finance companies. 5. Personal services, such as hotels, car repairs, accounting, education, and medicine. Now the point here is that people have changed from manufacturing jobs to service jobs. For example, 100 years ago, 80% of workers produced goods. Today, only 30% do. Economists predict that by the year 2020, 9 out of every 10 workers will work in service jobs. Task 1. Listen to the passage and fill in the missing words in the boxes. Let's look at some recent changes in the U.S. job market and see if we can make some predictions about future jobs. A good way to begin 
is to look at the American workforce and how it is changing. The most important change has been the shift from manufacturing jobs to service jobs. Manufacturing jobs are jobs in which people make something or produce things. For example, people produce cars. Service jobs are those in which workers provide services, or we may say they may do something like washing people's cars. Generally, service jobs are grouped into five categories: one, transportation companies; two, wholesale companies; three, retail companies; four, finance companies. Five, personal services such as hotels, car repairs, accounting, education, and medicine. Now the point here is that people have changed from manufacturing jobs to service jobs. For example, one hundred years ago, eighty percent of workers produced goods. Today, only thirty percent do. Economists predict. That by the year 2020, nine out of every ten workers will work in service jobs. Part C, listening, page 67. Listen and repeat. Workforce, manufacturing, retail, service, economy. Wholesale. Category. Goods. Job market. Part C. Listening. Page sixty-seven. Listen and repeat. Workforce. Manufacturing. Retail. Service. Economy. Wholesale. Category. Goods. Job market. Part E. Language focus. Page sixty-nine. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. And. And, but, but, at, at, for, for, of, of, to, to, from, from. Practice reading these sentences. One, what are you looking at? Two, I want to go, but I don't know when. Three, she bought a book and two pens. Four, thanks for coming. Five, where is it from? Six, I'm from Hanoi. Seven, she's the one I'm fond of. Eight. First of all, I want to thank you for coming. Nine, the letter was to him, not from him. Ten, I want to ask you a question. Test yourself, B, page seventy-two. Listening. Listen to the passage about children's education. And complete the following sentences. Children's education is changing very rapidly today. In the past, teachers made children sit still for hours. They made them memorize all sorts of things. Today, many teachers wonder if it is possible to make children learn at all. They say they can only help them to discover things for themselves. For some children, school is a kind of prison. 
They are at school only because their parents make them go. They get out of the classroom as soon as the teachers let them leave. Many of them want to find jobs, but the law does not let them work until they reach a certain age. And so, they have to stay in school. Often they all hate every moment.